we're making the ever so famous Korean cheesy garlic bread. It is everything you can possibly imagine. It is cheesy, it's golden, it's garlicky, and it is absolutely out of this world. And I cannot wait to share it with you. Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, we are making Korean cheesy garlic bread. It is so good. This recipe is haunting me on the interwebs these days. I see it everywhere. No matter where I go, I see a photo of it. Someone's talking about it, someone's eating it. I mean, it's literally all the rage. Um, and I've been making this for a couple of weeks. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have already have seen me in my stories. I've shared photos in my stories over the last few weeks of me making this. I have made it with brioche rolls. I've made it with miniature rolls. I've made it with anything you can think of, but really my favorite is with Kaiser rolls, like a nice savory roll. It is literally amazing. What I'm doing right here is melting some butter because as y'all know, I don't have a microwave down here anymore. Although, I need to get one because it makes this job much easier. I've got my oven preheated to 375, preheating. So there are several components, there are really two components, well, three including the bread. There's the bread, there's a cream cheese filling, and then there's the custard, okay? So the cream cheese filling, it's basically cream cheese, and some people like to add sugar to theirs to make it a little bit sweeter, some people don't. I find that adding just a tablespoon gives you a little bit of sweetness, but it's not overwhelming. So that's what I'm gonna do, which by the way, let me go grab the sugar because I forgot it. Hold please. One tablespoon of sugar. You need a touch of heavy cream. This is for the cream cheese filling. A touch of heavy cream. And I'm just gonna mix this together until combined. Doesn't take very long. You just want it to be smooth. I know some recipes call for like a quarter cup of sugar. I mean, even when I tested this with two tablespoons of sugar, I felt like it was way too sweet for me. You want a little sweetness in there, but not too much. So this is pretty perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cream cheese mixture and I'm gonna set it aside. Now, in this bowl, I'm gonna take some garlic. Um, I'm gonna do about four cloves of garlic. Why did I not? pre-peel this because I don't want to smash it because I have to grate it. Although you could finally chop it, but really I find that if you grate it, you'll get a much better, much better situation if I can actually get it out of here. All right, we're getting somewhere. Hold on, hold your phone. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grate all four fat cloves of garlic. It's been about six years, but I did get all the garlic grated I got the parsley chopped, adding my eggs. I'm gonna add a splash of milk. Now I know what you're thinking. Can I just use butter and like make like a garlic bread thing? It's not the same. You need like the custard situation. You need salt. You do need some salt. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start streaming in my butter. Whole lot of butter because those Kaiser rolls are ginormous. So I have all ideas that I will need all of this mixture, okay? And you need a good amount of freshly grated Parmigiano. Please don't use anything that's not the real thing because it does not taste the same. It is not gonna be the same. Nothing about it will be amazing or as amazing as, as it should be. So just get that good stuff in there. I would say that's a good half a cup, don't you think? And we will sprinkle some more on the top because it's cheesy. It's the name of the recipe. It's literally the name of the actual recipe. Okay, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic. Set that aside. Bring your cream cheese over. I'm gonna go ahead and Throw this, not literal, but in a Ziploc bag. You can use a piping bag. And I'm just gonna snip one corner and make an easy little piping bag. So that way I have all of my ducks in a row to get them made. Okay, I'm taking my Kaiser rolls, right? You don't wanna go all the way down, but you kinda wanna 
go about three quarters of the way, right? And here, let me show you one. You go across and then you can do six like so, or you can do eighths like I did. This is six or you can do quarters like that. Well, you know, eight pieces, it's up to you. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, it all ends up tasting wonderful and amazing. You just don't wanna cut all the way through. And then, well, this one I ended up going with eight. It's all good. Sometimes it's hard to see if your rolls have like a little design on top and have a hard time seeing. Okay, I'm gonna do one because this is very messy, but it's worth doing. You take your cream cheese. You don't wanna to take too much. You wanna put a dollop in between each one. You see that? Like so, like that. Beautiful. Then you take this, you have to really dunk it into that custard, okay? You gotta make sure it's all in there. And make sure you place them on a baking sheet that's been lined with parchment paper, otherwise they will stick to the bottom. And we don't want that. See how much they soak up? They really soak up a ton. I'm only gonna do three actually because I don't have enough room on that. I'll just do that, the other one separate. No problemo. You wanna make sure they soak up that custard as much as possible. Beautiful. Look at those. They are so fantastic. You cannot even imagine. If you have any cream cheese left over, you can do a little bit on the top like that, sort of right in the center. More cheese. And now this just goes in a 375 oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and just you wait. Let me see what they look like. Phenomenal. I mean, it, I don't even, I truly just don't have words for how good they smell, how phenomenal they look. I am, listen, listen. If you've made this before, then you know. It, they're just, they're to die for. They are to die for. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. But look, this custard soaks up, ah, it's hot. Look at the jazziness. Oh yeah, the, look at that, golden. You're gonna have to just give me a minute though. As much as I love you, as much as I cherish this little second here together at the end of every video, I kind of love my palette just a little bit more. I don't want to scorch it. Although it would be a first for me because I never cared before, but it's really hot. Mm. I think they are so much better with a savory roll, like a Kaiser or savory dinner roll, but they are also really delicious with like a brioche or something sweet if you're up for that. They are so good. I have no words. You just have to go to the website to get the picture, to get the picture, to get the recipe so that you can recreate them. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. LauraInTheKitchen.com has got the recipe for you and I will see you next time. Bye.